What's up everyone? Welcome to my 22nd tutorial in PHP. And in this tutorial, we are finally, finally, finally going to be creating our very first database. And to do this, I'm going to be using something called PHP my admin. And uh let's go ahead and go ahead and get started. Enough of the small talk. So, to do this, go ahead to wherever your website hosting is. Mine's at Hostmonster which is excellent by the way and go ahead and type in your domain name mine is the new boston there it is right there and enter your password and uh... let's go ahead and log in and you guys will probably see something a lot like this wherever it is you're going to want to go to the thing that says my sql databases and this is where we can create our first database now when you're creating a database for the very first time the very first thing you do is give it a name so I'm gonna name mine game and go ahead and click create database and it gives you this little confirmation created the bit the database game go back but the thing is the name of your database is not actually the name you typed in that name you typed in you're never gonna use again this is the name of your database and you need to know this and remember it because whenever we reference it or call it in our PHP script this is the name that we want to use so that name you typed in forget about it completely MySQL will automatically generate a new name for you and that's the one that you want to use so right now we have a database and it's pretty much an empty database but we have no way to access it it's pretty much like a database in an empty room but we need a key to get into that room and to do that you have to create a user without a user you can't use it that's why they named it a user so let's go ahead and create our username that we can add to uh... change our database i'm gonna make a user called bucky and i'm gonna make my password password as you can see it's a very weak and I will be changing this by the way if any of you guys try to hack into my site and change my database just uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna use it type in password again and go ahead and put create user I think I pressed it yep now once you create this it'll give you another verification add the user Bucky with the password my password go back and as you can see, once this goes back, just like it renames your uh, database, it's also going to rename your user. So you're going to want to go ahead and remember your user, the new bow, Bucky, even though we type Bucky. This is the one that we want to use. And you're going to want to remember this. So write it down because uh, they're more uh, likely uh, pretty easy to forget. So the only thing that didn't change is a password that one stays the same so now that we have our database created we can add tables to it and start adding information to it but that is the tutorial for next time so for now get your database made and uh... make sure to write down the name of it and make sure to write down the name of your user and make sure that you're watching these tutorials in high def Trust me, it'll make a world of difference. So thanks for watching, and remember, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, stay tuned for next tutorial.